Joining us now is Democratic Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney of New York. He is the chair of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. It is his job to keep the Democrats in the majority in the House. Uh, and uh, you have a, a two-year campaign that you're embarked on every single day with that. This legislation is part of what Nancy Pelosi intends for you and other House members to use uh, to give voters a reason to keep Democrats in control of the House. Well, I hope, uh, sure hope so, Lawrence. Uh, thanks for having me on. Look, you know, this rescue plan is going to end the pandemic and it's going to save the American economy. And if you think about a family of four in Putnam County, New York, where I live, uh, maybe they got a small business, maybe they make about $70,000, $75,000 a year, a couple of young kids. Uh, between just the direct cash payments, uh, the child tax credit, and the reduction of their Affordable Care Act subsidies, you could be looking at about $15,000 for that family. That's 20% of what they make in a year. So it's real relief to American working families. Um, and meanwhile, the Republicans took a walk. The Republicans had no plan, uh, no empathy. And they're talking about Dr. Seuss and Mr. Potato Head and, and trying to you know, enact a bunch of racist voting laws down in Georgia. So we're focused on the needs of the American people. I sure hope the people know it. The reason I, I concentrated on the Affordable Care Act elements of the bill is that there, there's so, there are so many things in this bill that have been higher profile, more news reporting on them, that the details of the expansion of the Affordable Care Act have uh, largely gone unnoticed in a lot of the coverage. Uh, but it is the single biggest expansion of that legislation since it was enacted. Well, it's really important, and I hope people understand that this is going to lower the premiums significantly for people who are on the exchanges. Uh, but of course, you also mentioned the expansion of Medicaid. That's going to get more people insured. That's really important. Uh, we're also going to uh, cover people's COBRA. So if they're trying to uh, hang on to their employer-based health care, uh, if they've lost their job, they can do so with, uh, with those costs covered. So this is really, uh, really a comprehensive set of protections around people's health care. And of course, remember the small business loans that have kept, well, just in my congressional district, 11,000 businesses, 100,000 people working here, just in my congressional district. You know, that means people are still tethered to that health insurance. Um, so, so this is really a plan designed to, to address the dramatic needs uh, that the pandemic has created. Um, and it's going to happen immediately. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.